Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend, Principal of the CTO Advisor. We're in beautiful Barcelona, Spain, VMware Explorer 2023. I have with me Maddie Kissel, uh and Kirsten Stoner, both from Veeam's community organization. We're going to talk the value of community, the value of free software. I don't, I don't know if I get that quite yet. Like free software is always a bad word when we're talking about making a profit, but we'll understand why Veeam is contributing to the community so much in this sponsored video. So Maddie, I'm gonna ask you first because you're returning to the CTO Advisor program. First off, welcome back. Thank you very much, Keith. It is my pleasure to be back at CTO Advisor and it's great to be back at VMware Explorer in Barcelona. So this isn't either of you ladies' first week in Europe. Tell me about the event you had last week. Yes, last week we were in Prague with our Vim 100 members. Um, we had a week of shared content. We had our product management uh, invited as well as our product strategy and we had great session with updates about the new products that are coming on uh, and uh, Kirsten is going to talk as you said about free software and free products that we are offering she's going to get more in detail about that but yeah we actually last year we discussed about the Vim 100 program this year I'm going to touch base something else the engagement in our community um, but Vim 100 are definitely a big part of it. They are really helping out uh, to, to get the word out there, you know, and they are our top technical experts. We have like internal as well as external uh, influencers, if you want. That's how they are called um, in different other technical communities. We like to just call them uh, Vim 100 in our community so yeah it was a really really great week we got a lot of good feedback as i mentioned this is our annual community event we usually do it in prague maybe we're going to change location i don't know that's a surprise let's see how it goes uh, but yeah there are many other ways to engage in our community it's not only the vim 100 program we also have a, a community platform dedicated uh, to that and there are so many activities that if you let's say if you start with Vim products and you need support in that, there is like uh, a category that is called discussion boards where you can actually go and uh, interact with the community with people that have been working with Vim for a while and they can support you uh, in your endeavors. So on top of that, we do have some competitions in there. We have a weekly recap in there as well. Um, we, we try to, to be fun and engage everyone. And we have one competition that is called Blog of the Month. This is new to the platform, to the community. Um, what we are doing is selecting best six blogs mm -hmm. in a month. And then we are asking our community to vote the best blog and that person gets a badge and people love badges <laughs> they love badges yeah and then um we are giving visibility to that blog we are sharing it on our veeam official uh, social media so this is one way to do it but then we also have a veeam 100 show this is also a new initiative and i was talking yesterday uh, at one of my sessions uh, about this uh, this is an opportunity that we created for Veeam 100 members uh, to share their passion projects. So, and they, they're going to tell their story, how they started with the Veeam community and that why they are part of the Veeam community. So that is a really great show and I invite everyone to, uh, to watch it. And then we have a hackathon. This year we started a hackathon. That was an initiative of uh, some of our Veeam 100 members. And uh, we had about 20 people uh, and we split them in four teams. Actually, the one of the winner is here at the VMware Explorer. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's great. And I invite everyone to, to be part of it next year because it's going to get bigger and better. All right, Maddie, thanks for the update on Veeam community. I get, I, I grok the value of having folks in the community, giving back to the community and learning uh, how to use data protection software, how to apply Veeam technologies to their day-to-day. -day. And then the feedback to the product team is, you know, 
is essential in just helping uh, keep the Veeam keeping their finger on the pulse. Kirsten, on to you, uh, you know, I halfway jokingly talked about free software, but Veeam has done this for years, provided this community edition. Talk to me about the importance of the community edition for helping Folks, you know, I just went to a uh, session today at VMware Explorer where it was about snapshots. And I'm thinking, snapshots? Snapshots has been around as long as I've you know, used vSphere, but it was overflowing in just the amount of basic information people need to start their careers, start their journey around data was in that session. Talk to me about the importance of community and what you folks are doing with the community edition. Yeah, of course. Uh, Veeam has been committed to providing free software solutions to the IT community ever since 2006 when Veeam first started. If any of you, our viewers have used Veeam or have been around for that long, you might remember Veeam Fast SCP, which was just a way to copy files between virtual machines. But what was really great about it was it was offered for free. So we still actually have Veeam Fast <laughs> SCP, but now it's included in Veeam Backup Community Edition. And this is just a way that you can project virtual machines, Windows, Linux servers, and NAS shares for free to up to 10 workloads. So really giving you that ability to not only test Veeam out for the first time, or even use it in a home lab to protect your machines. So are people using Community Edition as a way to first learn how to do backup and data protection, or are they primarily using this as a solution, to, as you mentioned, to back up their personal environments? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I used to work a lot in the Spiceworks community. Mm. I'm not sure if anybody is <laughs> if, if yeah. familiar there. So back in the day, you know, even if it was a really small company, I hate to say it, but some of those smaller companies were using mm. Veeam Backup yeah. Free Edition, yeah. which yeah. has been rebranded to Veeam Backup Community Edition. And it is a way to just get started using the product. I know we've all been in situations where, you know, maybe you're learning a new software for the first time and you go online, you're trying to deploy it in your lab environment and then there's a price tag on it and you're, it kind of stops you right at the front door. Yeah. I'm not going to pay money to, to, to deploy, you know, a software in my lab environment. So or, is, or it expires in 60 days. Oh yeah. And then it's like you just start getting your head around it and you can't even use it anymore, right? So it's just a way, you know, get started using Veeam, get started using data protection and, you know, getting familiar with the product. Well, I appreciate both of you coming by and stopping by the CTO Advisor Studio here at VMware Explorer 2023. If you want to learn more about Veeam community, where do they go? Veeam.com. Veeam.com, but also community <laughs> platform as well, which is the community resource hub. Meet us there, create an account, and engage with us and with all our community. And if you want to learn more about the CTO Advisor, a future group company now, you can follow us on the web, thectoadvisor.com. You can find me at CTO Advisor on Twitter. Talk to you next CTO Advisor Studio.